The guys at iBox contacted me and asked me to take a look at their uh, products here, their um, dab radios. Now, dab radios aren't terribly exciting, are they? They're just um, well, pretty much the same. They do the same sorts of things. But uh, I do like the fact that, you know, they've all got different designs and styles. And they're, they're, I suppose, as I've said in other videos, they're more lifestyle products. So we've got this one, which I picked first. This is the Epoca. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. And this is a sort of retro styling. And then the second one that I picked was uh, this one. It's not actually a dab radio. It's just an FM radio, this, which was a bit disappointing. This is the Dawn, and this has uh, wireless charging on the top. So the idea is you have it on your bedside table, and then you can yeah, just stick a, stick a phone on top like that. Uh, and then the uh, third one was the iBox, this one here, the iBox a tune. Now this, I suppose, is to me is the most sort of traditional dab radio style. It's a kind of quite a modern, fairly minimalist style. A little bit like the pure stuff, I suppose. And uh, I really like this one. And um, yeah, this is the third one, the iBox a tune. So let's uh, take a look at the Epoca first. Is that Portuguese? Can someone tell me? Is that Portuguese? It sounds. I think. I think it is. I think it might be. So let's have a look in the box and uh, see what we've got with this one. See what the sort of quality is like and everything. I'm not, not actually going to be testing the radios on this video at all. I'm not doing that in this video. I will do that in the future. This is just a sort of first impression. Goods in. Let's have a look at the products. It looks all right, doesn't it? I like this. Uh, like this finish here. Uh, out the box. It's got a good weight to it. Uh, surprising. Uh, yeah, quite surprised about how heavy it is. Charging cable comes with it, wrapped up. Micro USB, unfortunately. Everything I have now is USB-C, so it's always a pain when I've got to dig around for micro USB. It seems a bit dated. You can see from the front of this that they come in different shades, uh, different different colours too. Um, I went for the red because my mum used to have a Roberts radio, and this sort of reminded me of it. Yeah, it's surprisingly heavy. I don't know whether that's the battery that's, um, that's in it. Or, or what, really? I don't, I don't know whether it's just got a hefty speaker in it or just the general build quality. I really don't know, but it does feel quite uh, weighty. Oh, yeah. Oh, bit wonky uh, wonky sticker on the front. That doesn't uh, bode well. Yeah, can you see that? Just at the, just the bottom. It doesn't quite been put on straight. Bit of a quality control issue there, I, uh, I feel. Mm. Anyway, I'll ignore that for now. But overall, yeah, this is this is lovely, isn't it? Look, nice metal handle across the top. It's uh, really sturdy, and th just the the finish on. I really like that kind of mottled, vinyly sort of finish. A little bit like old retro radios. I really do like that. I get a, get a little bit closer so you can have a better better look at it. But um, it's tidy, isn't it? I like this. Okay, I'll, I'll take, a, take a look at the top. I'm going to uh, get, have to, there's a load of plastic on there, isn't it? So I'm going to have to uh, get that plastic off. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's super sheeny now, isn't it? It's really tidy. Lovely. Yeah, volume, mm, a little bit wobbly, that volume control. And there's on the back, we have our um, auxiliary in. And uh, has a headphone support actually, and uh, five volt one amp for um, micro USB there for uh, charging the unit because it is a rechargeable unit. This is, doesn't require its own batteries; it has the batteries built in. But um, yeah, the build quality, feel, if, honestly, it feels really, really good. This, I think that's a metal speaker grill. I think so. And uh, telescopic antenna it's got a bit of play in it there. That, yeah, that doesn't seem particularly good. I don't know why that is. It's got some, uh, yeah. It's got a little bit, a little bit of play in it. It does, yeah. It's staying up and things, but it just feels a bit. I don't know. It feels that feels like it could be a, a fault actually. Sort of like a little bit of a something hasn't quite been tightened up properly inside or something. Because I don't think I wouldn't expect it to have that sort of play on it. But um, overall, yeah. What do you think? I I, I really like this. All right, for the second one, I'm going to go with this one. This is the, the Dawn. So as I mentioned, a little bit disappointed with this because I haven't even looked at it yet. <laughs> There's instruction manuals. But it's only, it's only um, oh, not quite sure what they're for. Is that for the charging pad or is that just to, just to make sure it stays on your bedside table? I don't know. But this is only an FM radio. 
it's not a dab radio so it does have bluetooth you can connect something via bluetooth but that's not really going to help you in the morning is it you're not going to as part of your alarm you're not going to like wake up and then ha you, you, if you're going to play music you'll have to wake up and play you know play something on the phone all right so it comes with a power adapter i don't think this one is battery at all I'm not designed to be work workers battery we've got on these uh tiny dc connectors on here not a fan of these but um there we go so it comes with a it comes with its own uh, dc power supply another power brick to another power thing to put in your wall because uh, obviously it's a it's a radio clock it's designed to be um run uh, permanently and looks wise it's pretty good isn't it i do i can just see on the front there it's got sort of like um yeah they can take on there? I don't know. And it's got a little look, it's got on these little wire antennas. I haven't seen one of these since I used to have a radio clock when I was about seven years old. And uh, we do have batteries that go in here, AAA batteries. They are for backup, I think. Um, so if the mains goes out, it you know, you don't have to reset the time and stuff. You can't actually power the unit from these. And uh, USB here. This is a USB output, so you can charge other devices um, using that. And, of course, the DC in. And that big cross on top looks like a, a bit like a medical cross or something, doesn't it? But that is, uh, that's just to tell you where the center of the uh, charging coil is. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it feels a little bit plasticky, this one, if I'm just sort of being honest. It, uh, the, the buttons feel a bit plasticky, but looking at the image on the camera there, it does look really quite nice i think that could look really tidy on a bedside table very yeah it's all it's all right just a shame it's only fm i don't get that i not put a dab radio in that okay and the third one is this one the attune which i i have high hopes i didn't i wasn't as expecting as much from the apoca but I, I do really love that i think that's very very neat um interesting to see how it performs and uh, this one i was yeah i am Hoping. It's, it's odd, this, isn't it? Look, it's got a completely different packaging style inside. I don't know whether that's just because of the original people who supply these radios. Um, they're just, yeah, why is this one packaged in cardboard rather than the uh, the others? It just feels like a bit of an inconsistency there. And again, is that my, is it micro USB, this one, the charging? Yeah, another micro USB there. That's a shame. And, uh, Oh look, we got um, we've got a nice nice handle with uh, with with its separately wrapped handle. Let's see if I can get the uh, packaging of this. A little bit of ASMR for you. Uh, there we are. That's quite nice. That so the the white plastic does maybe look a little bit little bit on the cheap side. Doesn't have quite the sort of finish I was hoping for, the text and stuff, as you can see there. Auxiliary in again, which is useful, and a USB 5 volt. And then there's some sort of passive base port on the back. And yeah, that antenna is much better. That's what I expected the other one to be like. But it is neat, isn't it? I, I do, I do like this. Uh, some of the some of the text on those buttons there isn't quite right, uh, but overall, yeah, I think that's a metal speaker grill. And no push, no push control on the volume. It is just a volume. And let's peel this off again. Tech moan style. And uh, yeah, some of the text on the buttons is a bit wibbly wobbly. It looks like it's not it's not quite centered right on the buttons, which gives it a little bit of a non-premium finish. But overall, the whole unit feels really sturdy. Really good. Yeah, great build quality, and I do like the look of the product. I think um, I think this this would go in a lot of houses. It would go really well, just sort of sat on the edge in the kitchen or something. And so there we go. I think I prefer this one overall. It's the heaviest, and and it just I just love that retro look. This one is your kind of classic dab style, sort of pure dab style, like when when dab radios first came out, however many years ago. And this one's just an FM radio for a radio clock. Quite a nice, neat design. Uh, just a shame it's only FM. So there we go. That's a, a, a quick unboxing and first impressions of these iBox radios. I will take a look at them in a separate video and just sort of test sound quality, give you my opinions on uh, on them after having used them for a while. But um, hope that's helpful. I will uh, speak to you soon.